नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर सुधीर कुमार फ्रॉम बोकारो सिटी आई एम ए प्रैक्टिसिंग फिजिशियन एंड मोस्ट ऑफ माय प्रैक्टिस इज ओरिएंटेड टुवर्ड्स कार्डियो डायबिटी टुडे टुडे टॉपिक व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर इज लेटेस्ट अपडेट इन हाइपरटेंशन सो डब्ल्यू एच ओ ऑफ टोटल डेथ्स इन इंडिया आर ड्यू टू नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस of which 27% are attributed to cvd which affects 45% people in the 40 69 age group raised blood pressure is among the most important risk factors for cvds moreover it remains poorly controlled due to low awareness about hypertension lack of appropriate care through high primary care and poor follow up in india the prevalence is uh, has also gone up over 30 years to 38% in men and 32% in women from 29% to 28% respectively despite that nearly half of the people or 51% of the men and 41% of women with hypertension were unaware of the condition additionally over 62% of men and more than 53% of the women living in hypertension did not get treatment medications was used to control poor blood pressure in fewer than 1 in 5 men and 1 in 4 women with hypertension worldwide this is a data from who lancet 2021 study international society of hypertension has raised released the ICH 2020 Global Hypertension Practice Guidelines the inclusion of optimal and essential treatment paradigms attempts to address the issue that in resource poor settings optimal care refers to evidence based standard of care and whereas essential treat standards refer to minimum standards of care to allow specifications of essential standards of care for low resource settings the aha acc has released a scientific statement in 2021 offering new guidance for management of stage 1 hypertension among patients with low atherosclerotic cvd risk among low risk adults no as cvd or 10 year cvd risk less than 10% with stage 1 hypertension blood pressure 130 to 139 systolic and 80 to 89 mm of mercury diastolic management starts with non pharmacological therapy if blood pressure remains uncontrolled at 3 to 6 months consider starting pharmacologic therapy this is from hypertension article 2020 acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS is a potentially fatal condition involving lung damage and experts often associate it with severe covid-19 a recent study which appears in the journal of american college of cardiology reports that metoprolol can reduce lung inflammation and improve respiratory function in people with covid-19 induced ARDS lowering systolic blood pressure targets down to 110 to less than 130 mmhg range substantially reduced severe adverse events in the step randomized trial affirming the sprint findings for an older chinese population among some 8500 patients ages 60 to 80 years in china the intensive target trimmed 26% of the composite cv risk findings from now a second major trial supporting a lower target could unite the guidelines which even among us professional societies range from threshold of 130 to 150 mm of a with regards to prognostic value of ambulatory blood pressure monitoring and nighttime blood pressure measures the 2018 european guidelines on the management of arterial hypertension recommend that the diagnosis of hypertension should not only be dependent on office bp measurements but also on off site out of office measures such as abpm or home blood pressure monitor 24 hour and nighttime bp measurements were associated with greater risk of mortality and a composite of cv outcomes thus they may be considered as the most relevant measurements for estimating cv risk for every 20 to 20 systolic or 10 diastolic mmhg increment of bp measured at night the risk of mortality increases by 23% and the risk of cardiovascular events 
by 36%. Most patients with hypertension require lifelong medical therapy to achieve optimal BP control. The 2018 European guidelines equally recommend five classes of antihypertensive drug. Considering high non-adherence treatment, the importance of combination treatment is particularly highlighted to improve adherence to therapy and BP control. Therefore, the 2018 European guidelines recommend, especially in the context of lower BP targets, to start antihypertensive therapy with an initial dual fixed dose combination of AC inhibitors or ARB plus calcium channel blockers or diuretic. Since early July 2018, products containing valsartan have been recalled worldwide. The reason is the detection of unknown carcinogen, namely NDMA, which can be found in Candesartan, Irbesartan, Losartan, Olmesartan, and Valsartan. NDMA has been classified by the WHO International Agency for Research on Cancer to be carcinogenic in humans. Of 100,000 patients would have received, if 100,000 patients would have received NDMA contaminated Valsartan from Zhejiang. Huawei manufacturing unit where the highest level of contaminants were found. Every day of six years in the highest dose, it could result in 22 additional liver cancers over a lifetime of these patients. The presence of NDMA in these drugs could lead to a eight additional cancer cases in 100,000 patients if they had taken the highest daily dose over four years. While certain recall accompanied by a significant increase in the rate of emergency department visit of more additional 6%. The HIGI study represents the largest study that tested nighttime antihypertensive treatment. In this trial, chronotherapy was associated with significant reduction in endpoints. The HIGI chronotherapy tried tested whether nighttime therapy is in comparison to usual upon Awakening hypertension therapy exerts a favorable risk, CV risk reduction. The largest study in included a total of 19,084 hypertensive patients. During an average follow-up of 6.3 years, 1,752 participants experienced the primary CV outcome. An ambulatory BP measurement was performed for 48 hours to collect data on how BP differed during sleep. The RR reduction for CV events was significantly improved for nighttime treatment when compared with awakening treatment. Thank you.